fancy it. Liquid taking on Furia. We're here, though, for a very quick pistol. T-side start for Gambit. One expert leaning their way and charging into the fray. Look at them go. Gracefully set up with the flashes. And already, Linus has done very well from that counter utility. He'd have loved a second device set up for success. Multiple targets, and it's a real biff, but looking to shape up in favor of the boys from the ninjas here. Now, Rez bringing up the rear here with the Julies, of course. Want to see what he can get done with those prized possession. I think this one for Hobbit might be a little bit too tall of an order. The first is good. The second, oh, yeah. well, the crosshair was in the right place, but... Will be silenced by Hampus. They're in a great start here for NIP, and I think both pistol rounds might be in order in this one. I we'll have to make sure we keep our eyes just on how much NIP can give us on Inferno. Last time round didn't go so well. I mean, did you say last time round? I think the last six times round it hasn't gone great. A single win, boasting it uh, a couple of months ago up against Big Clan, and NIP have definitely not had the most comfortable of Infernos, and so I definitely echo the sentiment of both pistols and maybe even the conversions, but up against Glocks, I shouldn't have anything to be concerned about. No, they'll get one of the conversions, I hope, here. All they right. just have a smoke and a flash. Next round, the guns will come out. So if you're NIP here, you're hoping that you're able to keep everybody alive. That is going to be the first component of this, and the second is disallowing the plant, that would be something nice too, just to make sure that they can't have extra goodies, because next round they will have AKs, they will have util, they will be ready to bring the pain. Just a jump spot here from Plopsky. He's inherited those jewelies, I believe, off of Rez. It seems see him sporting them, they're a stylish number. Two pistols. You have to wonder, how come he's allowed two guns? I don't know, guys. He's cheated the system there. I'm not sure. Now, they do want to opt for a B finish here. And well, there's the half wall flash from Hobbit. Pop and clear. And in we go. The smoke's going to dribble on out. Ah, and you like that from Bobski holding down the trigger. Three kills. There's a casualty. Minus, you don't want to be the second. And Rez is here to clean up. So, all good. Plopsky with those kills, going to have enough to buy himself a rifle. The other three probably should be opting for a bit of a bonus scenario here. But this is where we really get to sink our teeth into what NIP are going to be throwing our way on the CT side. Smoke drops. Oh, gets quite the clear vision there. Oh, yeah, I mean, normally seeing three enemies on the other side of the smoke just before it blooms doesn't translate into all three of them. But that's lovely from Plopsky. Stands and delivers. Okay, so uh, it's just one Galil in play for Naphne here. The rest have AKs, but the rest are all lacking something in the grenade department. So, I saw with Banana, we'll... Drop down the car, Molly. That'll hold the CTs at bay. Looks like he's getting locked on in and doesn't want to hang around for any of that crazy business. Deep nade is good. Bowling oh. there. Shiro yeah. and Axe are chipped. You can see the theory behind that and the timing of that nade after the deep banana smoke is up. The chances are people are on the other side of it. This is risky. It is. The fact that it's fading and you're sticking around, you'll hear the dismount if you are in boiler. Hobbit through the bedroom will have heard it. And now just returning to Banana here, it looks like Gambit is set up for this. Inters the whole time has just been holding a bloody flash in his hands. So Inters will be throwing that flash over the wall to help them garner this Banana control. This will apply pressure to Plopsky, who only has a flash of his own, and a rotation will have to come through that arch side. So it will be down to timing here. Can they slip? I think he's seen something in the flash. Should signify no more peaks for Plopsky now. Hasn't fallen back immediately. And actually, if he goes for the clear here, it is just against Axile. Oh. He converts. Big find. Yeah. Huge kill. I mean, that's it. That's going to force them all into the stacked up A side. This is the bonus SMGs. And yeah, they're finding impact. Linus is there to support him. You'd think that Incendiary would do enough. It'll at least stop the swing for territory. So Linus maintains long. And three members left of Gambit. 30 seconds. And oh, a real opportunity. He's going to miss there. Linus peppering from the short side. One apps. They're building a good image of where the three are coming from. Gambit. They're running out of options Oh, he didn't here. extinguish the Molly Hampus. Oh, that could have actually gotten really out of control. Hampus was the only one with a rifle that had HP, right? Plopsky was low towards B, and Hampus there, he didn't extinguish. He just went for the placement, and the Molly was already burning, so it kept burning behind him, and he couldn't play around the smoke like we normally see, so crisis averted. Gambit, make it costly-ish, but yeah, it was the bonus. They do pick up rifles on the way out their door. Two AK-47s, that's quite tidy. And no plan for Gambit. So you can see here he's just still burning, 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 and dead. A little bit unfortunate. Here we go. Uh, a Zeus for Naphne. Ooh, an aggressive push from the ninjas. Axile is locked in on logs, but will they assume it's clear? They do. 
Linus lucky to have gotten away from that one, and they are sticking around. Vulnerable now. Nice reposition out of Exile, but it does still result in his demise. Just these P250s and Tech 9s, and I think the threat mostly subsides now. Rez contending with two. Oh. Really just trying to get that mid control with everything they got. And you're right, Shiro 7 HP. No way. Well, so, this is it, right? That's the start you were looking for. That's it. NIP. Dude's currently seize control of the reins. Yeah, and I think here, if they can convert this next gun round, then they're off to an absolute flyer, right? The early gun round buy there from Gambit didn't have everything. We didn't have the Shiro T side at all. So this is the first time. If you were in uh, Gambit's prac room, and on the board they had the ideal buy, this one that you're about to see is it. AKs for everybody, AWP for Shiro, everything they could possibly hope for to operate within a gun round. The device, well, he's got his big green out on the other side of things here. So we're in for a bit of a treat here, round number five. He would love to find a kill here. Ooh. Having to dump all his nades there. Flash, Molly, Smoke, all used. And, oh, aggressive apartments again. Hobbit is coming. Yeah, they're actually pressuring two parts of the map at the same time. They're walking apps. They're knocking on half wall. And aggressive warping from device. He's <gasps> lost Hampus immediately. And they don't get much more info out of that. Good spray from Nafani. He doesn't finish... Any of the targets, there's still three members of NIP that were contesting B. I think Device is called for backup now. Rez starting to maneuver over there. There's no nades left for NIP. There's no bodies left for NIP. Before I can even talk about nades, they go for an info play, and Nafani sits them down, says, good night. Thank you for being in my banana. And they're just going to stroll on in here. Rez, he's close. He's also about to be smoked off. Oh, very nice. Finds from Rez. And Inter's caught on the walkthrough oh, as well. A. Device being flanked. Oh, 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 oh. oh, Device. That was the one shot he had to hit. Is he ready for this? No, he's not. Hobbit, despite the low HP, punishes. And now Rez has got to pull up his socks and jog on over to the A site. Give it a crack now, you may as well. Right, consider how this round was just looking. A, a 2 on 5 has just become a, a 2v1. Low HP on Hobbit, yeah. A smoke to work with for Rez, a kid in play. Give it a go. Yeah, and I mean, Rez has definitely been looking to be heating up into the Pro League finish here for Group D. He made this round realistic in the first place. Can he really wrap it all up and put a bow on it as well? He'll go for a clear on Hobbit's position here. Oh, oh bloody hell, Hobbit. The first onto Vice is one, but the second onto Rez even better. Great round. Great round for Hobbit, right? Yeah. He got, he got Hampus there as that opening kill too, didn't he? Because Inter's got leg, then Hobbit opens up. Nafani gets these two, and you think, oh, okay. But that's way too easy, right? Like, his crosshead didn't even have to move. Both the heads just walked exactly into it. Nice little smoke vision camera here for all of you on Rez's kills. And this one for Device, right? Like, he has no idea where Hobbit is. You just see one individual scrambling up mid. That's not enough info. And yeah, huge shot there from Hobbit, right? Was getting hard clear, but here we go again. Full buys out. NIP, they need this one. Oh, they will be staring down the barrel of an eco here. So a bit more of an aggressive stance on middle. Three players over towards B again. This time the AWP from Device joins Plopsky and Linus. You'd think he could have just taken all of the Astralis mental goodies he had, right? And said, hey, this is why we were good at Inferno. Let's just do this. I suppose it's not that easy. Oh, that's nice. The bait and switch there. Fires off an orb shot. Axel tries to punish on the bolt. And Plopsky's there. Ooh, he's got a little whiff of the Nafani crawl. Yeah, and as it fades, ooh, he's through long. There's more where that came from. Inter's tracked nicely. Hampus knows there's more where that came from. And Shiro still we're sticking around on the fade. The reposition is another for Hampus. Nafani, though. Yeah, his adventure's been cut short. This is nearly spotless. It's only Hobbit who's starting to make it costly, puts Rez down to sleep and looking to tuck in a couple more ninjas here. 40 seconds, they've got control of the bomb and should be a return to form for the ninjas into this R6. Close. All right, good attempt there. Right? The timing from Gambit getting around the corner for Nafani could have been the unraveling factor, but I think that actually worked against them because Nafani didn't find any contact. Inter's assumed it was clear. Uh, so kind of playing against them there. But five to one.
And here we go again. Same situation that Gambit find themselves in. The money for a few, decent for rifles. But realistically, they just have to take a bit of a save here. Shiro wants that AWP, so he's not going to spend too much at all. Just a Tech-9 as he leaves spawn. Now, this is the type of round, if you are an NIP fan, is a must in the conversions here, right? This is You can't be giving up these in a map that you have a, a bad win-loss record on. These are the type of rounds you have to be converting because it can spiral, it can get out of control. You don't get many opportunities like this. And it is a very passive stance on the B-bomb site right now. Linus and Plopsky are as far back as you'd want to be for any banana info. It's just the jiggle from CT from Plopsky and Linus standing ready and waiting with a Molotov. Noisy, this will have been heard. They've dropped their smoke, so they forced out a bit of util here. Yeah, but being able to force Linus and Plopsky to be scared, and they have tucked into an even more passive stance now. Oh, you know, that's the kind of shot that I wouldn't write Axile out of hitting the boosted AK. This can go wrong, I feel. Yeah, it can. I say AK, excuse me, Plopsky's up there with the M4. All it takes is a couple of crispy shots. So far, so good for the ninjas. Axel has hit that boosted up player. Linus to survive and buy time. Shiro trying to push and put pressure onto that orb, but it's gone awry. And that's lovely. NIP convert the must win and extending their lead, as Chad had outlined. That's going to be just as valuable in the grand scheme of their pursuit of 16. We are more excited we, about this one oh, right we've now. Got, we've got to focus on oh, Nick for Gambit. I'm so sorry. You just blue-balled everybody. You can check that out on the B stream if you want to find out how that one ends. Shiro just saved all his money up for this. Oh. He just bought a nice shiny new toy and he's gone and dropped it. Yeah, he's, he's broken the gyro blades on his new drone. Yeah, it still flies, but it'll never be the same. Never the same. He knew he, he, knew he dropped it. On the first day as well. It's like when you get a brand new phone. And you, you're like, I won't put it in a case. No, I don't need to. Just not today. I'll treat myself. Yeah, I just want to have it. I want to I want to feel it. And it's most organic and beautiful. Oh, hello. What a treat for Naphany. So he's ahead of, was ahead, past tense, courtesy of the hamper spray. Good damage from Hobbit. He keeps them on notice. And if they want to go back to Plopsky's B, they do put a lot of responsibility on the shoulders of this man. He's seen something here, so plops has gotten wind of this. Linus is rotating back over, and I think it's really on Hobbit to cause an issue with this apps lurk. If he can keep the players on A planted, then we can isolate some fights for Gamba over towards B. There's his lurk smoke, and that's actually... <gasps> Woof! That was the bomb on T-Stairs as well. Hampus, quite the resurgence from him after a quiet ancient. 11 already with some aggressive CT maneuvers, and this round no exception. It's a save. Like, the, uh, there was a chance, but I think that kill right there just decided it, right? Inters is going to hold on to that AWP. We mentioned how much was spent on that. Uh, okay, 7-1. to one. I, Look, I've watched enough Gambit games to not be worried at a 7-1. to one. If the scoreline's 12-3, to three, okay, yeah, okay. Then, then, I'll, then I'll get worried. But, like, right now, Gambit, imagine this. Live in this fantasy world with me for a second. They take a timeout. They just go, right, boys, let's just throw our legs up. Let's have a bit of a chat here. It's, it's all good. Have a timeout. Have a chat. So they still have the orb. They win this one. They win the next one. They break NRP's money. NRP take an eco. They win the next one. Uh, at that point, the scoreline's back to bloody 7 to 5. So it's so quick how this can all turn. What a shot. If you're peeking into a posted up Shiro, that's crazy. You better be faster. Yeah. And he, and he was. Aww. He's just having a ponder there, old Napanini. Yeah, very animated. And oh, Hampus hasn't really clearly had enough. Decides he'll make his 11 a 13 and perhaps even make that 7 and 8. Well, they didn't take a timeout, you see. With ah. the story that I was trying to paint, yep. they had to take a timeout. Well, that really is a short lived period for Gambit. Plopsky looking to finish the round right here and now. He knows where you are, Shiro. And oh. Yep! <laughs> Sprays him down eventually, knows where he is. Hobbit up against the world. Okay. Uh, well, we know how this one ends, don't we? It's... Come on now, Hobbit. No, Give we it get, a go. We get to watch the Hobbit save. No, it's gonna come be on. hype. We'll get to watch the Plopsky hunt. Oh, there's a different way to frame it. Plopsky now hunting down the hiding Hobbits. 
I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't watched enough. I don't know enough of what's his name. Um, the hobbits they hide from the ring wraiths. Uh, of course they did. The ring wraiths. The Nazgul. And they like potatoes. Toad hate hoes. That's the for one. For sure. The Nazgul. Don't they own liquid? Yeah, they were the uh, the humans that were given the rings of power. Ah. And as you know, the human man is easily corrupted. Yes, we have a story power. about that at the moment. The Ghibli. Issues, yeah. Yeah. Well then, armored pistols. So far, so good from ninjas. Like they haven't tripped over any of these. No, it looks good. It looks like they're playing to win. Ooh. And look, device. He only has five kills. It's other members stepping up, and this is great. Plopsky, Rez, Hampus, all contributing here in a very big way. Like this is the NIP you want to see. Like, this is the one that you, w before device was on this team. We were still kind of excited about Nip. Like, let's not be, let's not fool ourselves here. Yeah. There was always that potential with the squad. Now, device is here. What was meant to happen was we're meant to get more excited. Do you know how you completely <laughs> resuscitate the NIP hype? Change the logo to green. But that's one way of doing it. Yeah. The other way, it's just too complex. It's, it's, I can't say. I can't okay. Say. All right. Well, they've got these mid control, and all five of them are here. You reckon Flopsky has a? Well, he's not going to have a peek, but he might have a smoke spray. They've just been denied their one avenue of attack here. I think they might have to go back and find another way. Hobbit's got some space. That might entice them forward to Linus. Okay, well, this is actually kind of scary. They don't have any nades left, so it is just going to be the bullets left. Of it, it is scary, you're right. Gambit. It can fall apart at any juncture. I mean, a, a, flanking. A missed shot from Linus here. He needs to hit the first one to cross in. Device will miss, and Linus lets one go. Device has dealt with it. Uh, still some alarm bells ringing. Now perhaps not so much, but Axile is always deadly. He's even got a flashbang to try and maneuver out of this pit position. There's two posted up on his location. It's Hampers that saves them. And a nice double out of him again. More impact felt. Nine to one, they said. Okay, so Linus back to the academy team temporarily. Okay. Bring Forrest back in. Forrest? Yeah. Okay. Completely dismantle the Dignitas project. All Forrest right. back in a Nip jersey. All right. As your role playing fifth. Yep. And NIP top two world. Okay. It, look. He's a, he has a 1.12 1 rating the last three months, Forrest. He's still banging oh, out he's still the tier a fragger. Twos. Yeah, okay. All right, wait, there's a lot of moving Safe parts. Safe pair of that. hands there. All right. All right. All well, right. Get me in control. Give me a call, NIP. Let me know. Well, we're going to get Anders on the phone first for the keys to the simulation. Ah, true. Yeah. He's been running that for far too long. Yeah. Okay. So. Gambit of it, it it feels like out of the rounds that Gambit have lost, at least three or four of them have been light pistol upgrades or ecos, right? Like they haven't felt like they've had guns in their hands more often than not, which is not normally the feeling I have when I watch Gambit. You know what? That might have something to do with the distinct lack of bomb plants. They yeah. really haven't been getting into the site. And I think that's courtesy of the way in which NIP have been defending here. True. They've been quite in their face, right? Yeah. So this is one of the rounds where they haven't gotten multiple opening kills within the first, you know, 15, 20 seconds. So this one might have a bit of a different flavor. And Linus, well, he was jump peeking on his lonesome there. Plopsky, back towards the site. And it feels like, give it a bit of a crack for a beer, exactly. here. You have banana control. You just need to clear out sandbags and top. Yeah, yeah but, but have everything they kind of need. NIP have been on the ball with their rotates so far. I mean, this is the closest Gambit have come to having an isolated 4v2. Campus is already rotating. He's on his way. Here comes Intus though, he wants to go off the Extinguish, he's considering a resmoke pool and does drop it out. Plopsky does nothing to report and Linus called upon. He's looking to slow him down here, Rez has fallen elsewhere on the mid push. And yeah, Gambit looking set for this one, only device remains, he's already got past into the construction, the bomb yet to be planted, so perhaps there is still some chaos to be caused here. This will be some clutch. Yeah, and there's enough backs turned that there's a small window for Device. He's not ready for that boosted position, so he will fall Gambit with a must-win round if they want to have a competitive Inferno here. And it's wild to think, like, NIP, even though they have a 9-1 lead, right, they're still in a position where with one or two rounds in a row from Gambit, their economy can be broken, right? That, that just shows you how fragile this CT side of the economy can be. NIP will reinvest. They will get the guns back out. But you can already see Plopsky and Linus have the most money remaining. 1800 That's not enough to get you anything these days. So here we go. An important round for NIP here. Double digits if they win this. And oh, it's a faster play up mid here. Very Whoa. quick. Look at this. Some yeah. pep in their step. What's Nafani calling up a storm here? He wants Shiro posted up on the arch side early. 
It does look like the ninjas have answers to their B questions currently, though. So oh, Rez needs to be ready on this rotate here, though, Alex, because look how close Nafni is right now towards his arch side. If Rez is not playing aware and he sure. goes for a little bit of a lazy clear, Ooh. oh, he knows now. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, the smoke's going to get him very defensive. Literally smoke signals. Even Linus is going to back him up. You know, if one of them could get to library side, they are going to be very threatening. Smoked off. Unloads his mag. Daphne, nothing. Uh, but a lot of info, I suppose. Great flash. Device gobbles that one up. And then the lead that follows. Inters is in. And so are Gambit's name in the feed. Now the bomb loose. Shiro keeps things in favor. And look at the rotate. They're still locked out. That's, That's Linus now and Plopsky just in CT spawn where they started. Gambit with a pace change. Look, I know it's I, I know it's a no issue, right? Like in the sense of it didn't manifest that way. But when you see them throw that long smoke, the one that lands, uh, it's after Arch, but before Library, right? So you can't see from Moto and you can't see from Library, right? That one there adds so much doubt that what it does is, oh, Linus has found one here on the save. They are actually chasing. So I think they're well aware here of the ramifications of the economy. See if Shiro can find anything. Taking these guns away would be huge. Bomb's about to go off. That's when he's going to release that shift key and start running. There it is. Using the audible, the master steps, and a great shot from Shiro. Even gets them all. Shiro, you bloody hero. That is massive. What that's going to do to NIP right now is they have nothing. They can't operate with anything into the next round of play. They have to take a save, so that is going to sting. Oh, and, and you know, an org M4 and a couple of deagles is... Threatening, isn't yeah. it? It's imposing. And one quick kill off that opening Deeg maneuver could have been, you know, threatening. This, this is, is huge. This is all of that denied. All of that. He had a full belt, a util kit, all of that in the bin. And you can see it means a lot to him. He knows what he's done there. He's given him a good leg up into running away with his half. And oh, NIP chose to force Chad. They've already lost Hampus. Oh, no. Well, it's 9 1. I, I have a sneaking suspicion this could very well end. 9-6, mm -hmm. and then, you know, that very, very good CT half from NIP. Well, it's still good, but it could have been much better. Yeah, and then their T-Woes could return in the ugliest way possible after having such a firm lead. Mm. Okay, well, with the man up. Gamble stack. So, I mean, the only way this goes wrong is if Nafani doesn't just go for a stroll into the left way. Yeah. If no one goes and has a little feel, you know, like, oh, no one's poking me, no one's smoking me. He's not finding anything, right? Not a leg, not a jiggle, not a sound cue. And weirdly enough, are they going to rotate on back? Because that one looked like it was destined to be an absolute car crash on the B-bomb site. Now, one of the things here, uh, unless an IP just want to save what they have, by smoking top banana, you're actually sending them to the other site to at least have a look. Sure. Because it's like, well, you can't come in here for 20 seconds, go, so go do you want to go do something else? Right? Like, th that's one of the... When you gamble stack a site, that's one of the risks when you smoke off the choke. Right? You still want to delay time to make it more stressful, but if you smoke off the choke point and then it sends them to the other site, mm. like, well, we wanted to let them in, actually. Yeah, like, the opposite of that, the throwing the smoke, I, which I think it would entice you into the site, is, like, that one player of the stack kind of plays and acts like a solo holder. Yeah, you know, jump you're spotting. You're jump spotting half wall, peaking, and yeah. you, you throw your smoke, and you try and actively contest, and then you'd go down... That might lead to, especially in your matchmaking games, the full commit. That's a classic, that one. It's like uh, like on old old Inferno, like 1.6, like a, a really just standard eco strat. All right, guys, uh, the two B defenders, uh, you guys are going to rush B and die, and then we hope that that's enough that the rest of them just fall. Yeah. Just super, super uh, basic. basic stuff, rudimentary stuff. Ten rounds now for Furia, okay? Looks like they're probably set here for an 11th as well, so... Things aren't done yet, apparently. No, and, and I don't forget Mirage next, which is where Mirage really caught us all off guard. Mm. Furia impressing us with their win against NIP. And like, was it like, it wasn't even double digits, 16-8 or something, 16-7? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I tuned in at one point. I was like, I, I don't know if I can watch any more of this. <laughs> yeah. It was just hard to watch. Let me have a little bit of a look here. 16-9, yeah. 11-4 yeah. first half on the defense from Furia. Brilliant stuff. Ooh-wee, okay. So yeah, NIP perhaps not safe after all, even though they are looking... Pretty solid here. Exile doing the dance of Molotovs and flashes, oh. and he's actually left a little worse for wear. They've been a bit hard done by not converting that. They're stacking B again. So uh, getting the most out of these pistols, right? They will be able to buy in the next round. The loss bonus will be there for them. And oh, Plopsky sent forward. 
Go on. to get a lot done here. Oh, and Rez can't believe he stuck around for oh. that, but that's enough for Linus' M4. He will trade, and they are going to be surely sending someone to poke and prod at A, but Axel already so low. Linus bravely takes full banana control back for his squad. Hampus Hampus. calling the bedroom clear. Oh, that's the bomb lovely loose. Lovely stuff. Oh, lovely from Linus. That's exactly what you'd need from the safe M4. I can't believe they, they picked that up. Yeah, not only that, he grabs an AWP last second as well. Device gets a real special treat, gets to have everything he could desire for the last round of play. And this is Rez getting two when most would get one. Yeah, that's great stuff out of him. And Linus here, not afraid, right? Because at this point, they don't know where the last two players are. And actually taking a lot of room and securing it on his own, basically. Linus, very good stuff from him. And, and now 11, possible for NIP. I, I wasn't thinking this whatsoever. 11. It's going to be a huge half. They get that T-side pistol. Maybe they can do it in two. Wow, that comes easy to Shiro. Posted up on the Aggie Peak and deals with them. Nice little setup for Hampus, though. And this perfect time for it. Last, you know, you've been saving your schmeckles for two rounds in a row. You need to find some dividends here. And only one from Rez. Shiro catches a glimpse of Hampus. And this one, a nasty yet predictable death for Plotsky. Gambit will leave with a fifth, but... The damage is done. NIP going to be pretty solid and happy with that, I think. Bomb has been planted. Surgeons from Gambit. IP, however, a win here isn't necessarily all that's required. Let's see if they can do it, though. Gambit secure at the tippy top of the group. But 10, Chad. 10 already. Looking great. All the individuals, as you highlighted, are delivering. It's not just the one-man army. We've had Hampus moments. Linus has had his moments. Plopsky looking good on that B defense as well. But now it comes to the weaker of the two, NIP's attack. You think we're going three? <laughs> Can I answer after the pistol? All right. All right, I'll, I'll give you that much. Okay, thank you. Well, this is uh, quite a slow approach here. If you were here for Gambit's T-sided pistol, they literally rush B. Right now, NIP have bled almost a minute off of the clock here and are starting to limp out some smokes towards A. Lurk smoke out of apps, moto smoke blooms, and the flashes will follow. But is there a commitment? Mm, it looks a bit fakey. Full commit, and Pampas finds Ow. more. He's actually hit the hunter into their work it up long, and Shiro loses his head. This is brutal. Hobbit's still aware that it's possible. They've scoured out Naphany, and he's lost his life and his kit. And he hears them in. Hobbit, his suspicions confirmed, and he will have a back turn plot. He needed both. Rez is the one to stand his ground. And oh. quick from Axel. Very quick from Axel. He's made this 1v3 a little easier already. Linus down. The kit's completely out of the question, so this will have to be some frags rather quickly. He'd love to be putting some pressure on that bomb now, but Rez is holding his He's cross. So deep. Rez yeah. is so deep. <laughs> Couple of pot shots. Knows Rez is playing from CT side and process of elimination dictates device is supposed to be around it, but they're giving him nothing. Just toying with him. Nice play from Rez. Doing an awful lot without having to move too much. Nice shot all the same. But NIP, they will take the pistol. And perhaps that third map may not be necessary. Good shooting. Call it 11. I really like that pistol. It was a really, really fun pistol to watch there. It had a lot of layers to it, right? The opening kill with Hampus, like he's jumped out expecting to find something. The circle jumped out. With the circle jump, there's going to be so much uncertainty, right? Is there more players water falling in towards the pit? And then the fact he goes into the side and gets a kill, that is massive. And then you see there, they're playing with the rotations. Everybody's scrambling to help the A site. They go through the arch. They've isolated the B rotators. We're like, well, we just thought it was A. And now we're the ones who are under siege. So we will see Gambit force, and axile has been able to get himself an M4. So isn't that quite the prized possession? And they will need to get something out of this. Can't fall flat with a force by of this proportion here, Gambit. Yeah. Only enabled to get that M4. Oh, oh. my God, look at him go. Nafani trying to challenge out Hampus, but expected it to be clear. The molly on logs, just not quite enough of a spread. Really, really rough death to give up there. If you're NIP, you can just regroup and execute on towards this B bomb site. Axar would have to get over there with that M4 now to really voice some concern. And he is starting to get a move on. It's not of the quickest variety, but maybe, just maybe, Gambit will have their B stack underway. Smoking towards CT, Hampus to test the water. And, oh, he's on his own. Everybody else oh. has been dispatched towards A. So really just playing with Gambit right now. Yeah, two for two as well on this one. Gambit 
Gobble it up, send Hampus to the other bomb site, and he sells it. Okay. All right. Look, you got to love this, right? Like, you, you think, if there's two in-game leaders who you think have similar... Well, I guess we can throw Art in, but he's the craziest of the bunch. Hampus and Naphany, right? They, they love yeah. a good Aggie play. They love going for the info on their own. I mean, this isn't the most punishing. If he finds Axel and somehow that M4 is irretrievable, like, you you, you are setting yourself up for the 2-0. Yeah, and while they now know that he has something big in his hands, I would be sending everybody in this direct... Maybe not now. Maybe mm. not now. Maybe that smoke is enough of a deterrent. Oh, okay. He has I mean, the look. M4, guys. Hampus is still... I mean, I'd feel very pressured if I'm Gambit right now. Flash is all over the shop. Trying to deny what they can. Some bullets from Shiro. Hiding in that tree position. Axile with the 7-4. Holds on with frags alone. <sighs> okay. Well, he can actually drop another M4. And, and they could actually buy this round. I know that sounds crazy. And it's going to be up against Galil's, you know, because he just killed everyone with AKs. Yeah, so uh, they're by. <laughs> it's three M4s and MP and two MP9s. Okay. I, I think if you're NIP, as well as the fact that he just killed so many of you, you still know there's an M4, so you're going to be operating under that impression here as well. It's not like you won't know that there's rifles out on the other side. Just how many is the question. They're coming for Nafni's position. The flash is too late, oh though. Oh, my lord. And again, a nasty opening death for the Gambit leader. Where's this NIP been? Yeah, correct. One flash. They can fully execute here. Hampus with some confidence in his maneuver here. Just going for the full clear, and Hobbit shouldn't get more than one. If that, Hampus keeps ah. him honest. Ooh, no boost today. Popsky cancels those plans, and then some NIP making light work of Gambit. I'll go warm up the car, mate, because this is over. Yep. Like, the fact that they bought into that one now, it, like, sure, Axel can try and hold on to this. That's all good and well. But they get 2,900 as the loss bonus into the next round of play. If Axel doesn't hold on to this, it's just going to be some upgraded pistols here. What are we witnessing here today? What a crazy, crazy game this has been. NIP from the shadows. 13 to 5. Yeah, I mean, if, if NIP close this out, they are going to be watching with their fingernails in their mouth as they watch that final Fury of Liquid map, if it does go through. I'm going to just have to reread that email for the hundredth time. Yeah, I just did, actually. So I've got it on the tip of my tongue. Okay. So NIP, they qualify if, if they win and Fury loses. Okay. Or... If they lose, I'll come back to that. All right. Well, at the moment, it doesn't look like it's particularly necessary. If no. they win, they're just going to be cheering for a Liquid win. Okay. If you're an NIP fan, you want Liquid to be taking the W here. And Nafri this time has found a frag and continues to push the issue. Light pistols. No issues, really, for the ninjas. This is going to be 14, Chad. They are low. But a uh, jumping block solves all their problems. Man, it's a different looking NIP today. This is puzzling. I, I know there's nothing in this for Gambit, right? You would just love to go undefeated in your group, really just make a bit of a, a statement. Uh, Yanko was talking about, you know, making amends for the ancient loss that they had against NIP in recent times. Uh, all those things would be great here, but NIP, with everything on the line, all the pressure that... You may even say they put on themselves with the loss yesterday. They've just come out here swinging. This is lovely. This is what you want. Oh, that's a nice camera angle. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm get, just getting an update of that CSGO B stream. 14 to 10. Oh, dear. Liquid now. And they're on the defense as well. I mean, that Mirage game... You know, Liquid had a bit of an oopsie on a Mirage earlier on. Oh, dear. I don't know if that will come back. Imagine. I don't know what I mean. Could you imagine? NIP, they come out, they a just coach. absolutely, absolutely destroy Gambit. They biff them down on their own map choice. And then Furia with Gary break their hearts again. Like, not only did they break them yesterday, it's like, not only did they, <laughs> they, they straight up said, like, look, I'm sorry, I, I, it's not you, it's me. Yep. Then they drove past <laughs> the next day, making out with someone new in a Ferrari. They won the lottery, waving at them. Oh, no. Bloody hell, imagine.
Oh, it's... you just beat Gambit. You just beat the, one of the world's best. It's going to be a rough, rough night for NIP fans around the world. It could be. It really could be. And, and to ride the highest of highs of this as well. Yeah, they're going to be feeling good after the win, right? Yeah. Wow. Okay, strap in. 15. Looks like Mirage might be happening. Okay, okay. Well, double orbs have been hit. And, well, this is the first full gun round that Gambit have had. And the scoreline is already 14 to 5. So. Linus. Hello. Yeah, that's a lot of damage, isn't it? Pepper's away. Oh, oh, he's tactile. I can't believe they're hanging they'll around. They'll hear this. Dude, they'll hear this. Yeah. Perez is going to know. Yeah. What are they up to? I'm not sure. Okay. We're on the same page there, I guess. The, after the first guy gets spammed, I can't believe they even hung around at all. Gambit sandbagging their inferno here. They j two players without seeing anybody are both below 50 HP. And Naphany's orping banana. It could have got a lot worse. It could have, but when, when do you see Naphany orping? You know, sometimes, but... Because of the panic button's been hit here in a, yeah. in a ways. Klopski is burning, does extinguish, and that's a great start for the Gambit CT setup. Shiro's orb connects, Naphany's orb connects, so they are well aware of this double orb setup, and in fact, the whole setup has come into fruition at once. Okay, what happens to the man who's usually getting involved in the round at the start? He's the last one left. And oh, with 30 seconds left, there's not much for him to salvage in a round like this, but you would like to get a couple of kills just to make it costly for Gambit. The reinvestments at this point in the game are going to hurt a lot. Now, sniffing under the nose right here. Should be finished off on the top rope. Hobbit will get it done. We'll call that six. Now... It's going to be quite the comeback here from Gambit, and they're very impressive as far as, you know, the comebacks go and making sure that they stick to their guns, as it were. And IP can buy again. Even though there's been a couple of rounds where Axar kept them honest with multiple frags, there's still enough in the bank balance to get out four AK-47s and Plopski into a MAC-10. So let's see, is there a gear shift? Are they going to go for the uppercut to lay Gambit out here? Banana flashes. 147, away she goes. Hampus. Working on this banana control. Linus is playing very passive for second mid info. So banana control seems to be the priority here. Getting past Naphne is key. Yeah, priority number one. And his AWP was good for two uh, in the first test in our previous round. Molotov serves two purposes, and you can see, actually, just as I say that, it looks like C-Stream update and Tropic good for the win. 2-0. Oh, okay, Nafany again, good for it on this B defensive AWP. I think they should... Oh, Shiro's got a kill. Shiro had a kill there. Rez, great shot. Getting interesting now. Very interesting. There was three players over towards B for a moment there of Gambit. Inters doesn't know whether to stay or whether to go. He's floating in spawn. It's Axel in the graveyard on his lonesome on A right now. Inters will eventually join the party, but you can see how skeptical he is that maybe, just maybe, territory has been taken. And oh, Axel repositioning as well here. It's gone very quiet at B. Regardless, though, Inters has maneuvered away from his long info hold. Oh, this is such an odd spot for Axel. It's, it's reminiscent of how he held A on Ancient, you know, like this yeah. kind of position. Just a real odd one. Like, how are you going to con that Im immediately? He, he should be have the element of surprise for at least two. And look at this! Oh my lord! Axile nearly wins the round in one spray of his magazine. That's nuts. Look what he's done to them. NIP just had to find one man. It was a 4v1 on the site. Axile takes three with him. Holy. And now Linus asked to clutch. He's lost his teammates. It looks like he could lose this round. Does strike into the first. They're grouped up on short, and this reposition is everything. They're crouching in on him. Next target found. He's not looking the right way. Oh, Linus! Lovely Linus saving the ninjas. <laughs> Anything Axel can do, I can do better. The multi-kill clutch. Let's go. <laughs> How do we get both of those plays in the same round? How does Axel get three there? I don't even know. Let's Here we go. Again. They're so snappy, dude. Like, Red oh. did all the movement tricks he possibly could have. And Linus, he adjusts back. He looks the wrong way, but he's just back in time. His awareness is there. Oh. That is magnificent. And now they're set for success, Chad. Surely. 
Look at this. And they have to be. Yeah, this is the best opportunity. There's no other way around this. They've got banana control again. Rez needs to be careful here. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. That one's going to sting. And this push is going to hurt a lot oh, too. Yeah, Linus just looked away. Oh, okay, he saved them. And with a death on Hobbit, it leaves Nafanish quaking in his boots. Shiro's going to be smoked off here. He can't contribute at all. He can just try and close the gap as fast as he can. They are looking to isolate. Nafani is above the Molotov. But Ampus, Huge. good for the frag. Shiro pushing through. This is very aggressive. If they just find him, the round is theirs, but Shiro causing a oh, problem. Oh. Hampus deals with it. That's the game. Yeah, you'd think so. I mean, Inters is coming in a little late. This could be the 16 to 6. What a posting. I mean, there's 17% win rate on Inferno. Jesus. The only team they've been in recent months, Big Clan. But now to take Gambit down and, and in this capacity, he doesn't even have a kit, Chad. The hard work is done. Hampus. Leading from the top of the scoreboard tonight. One HP. Have picked up the impossible. They've done the impossible.